In this video we are going to see Danfoss Evaporator PLC Controller EKE400 Device Overview and Technical Data. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube Channel. Overview. For industrial refrigeration applications the Danfoss EKE400 can control the operation of the valves and the fans for evaporators to achieve optimal cooling mode and defrost sequence for an efficient, safe and trouble-free operation of the evaporators complying with IIR1 safety recommendations for hot gas defrost. The EKE400 controller is a dedicated controller for evaporators typically used in industrial refrigeration applications. EKE400 will be able to manage the complete operation in cooling and defrost mode, material data, safe startup after power failure, international units supported, metric and imperial, enclosure is IP20. Mounting is DIN rail, connection terminals is maximum 2.5 square millimeters multi-core, weight is 0.4 kilograms, dimensions, height 122 millimeters, width 138 millimeters, depth 63 millimeters, connection to diagram and ports, for a lower level ports, 1. Network between more EKE 400. HR connection has to be made on the first and the last local EKE 400, connection as close as possible to the connector, 2. Supply voltage, 3. DEO 5, DEO 6, dedicated for PWM valves, 4. Modbus connection, 5. Push buttons 4, up, down, left, right, enter and escape operations, 6. Digital output ports from 1 to 8. For upper level ports, 7. Analog output ports from A01 to A04, 8. Analog input ports from 1 to 4 for examples, 1 AKS33 pressure transmitter 1 PT1000 temperature sensor connected in that port, 9. Analog input ports from 5 to 8, 10. This is not used ports, 11. HMI display. Basic operation, status screens, get an overview of how the system is running in the status screens, use the left, right buttons to view the status screens, home screen, active alarm screen, old alarms reset screen, controller info screen, from any status screen press enter for 2 seconds to access main menu, press escape to go one level back, press escape to go back to status. Press up to decrease digit, press down to increase digit, press left, right to go to next, previous digit, press enter to login, password, EKE 400 controller password levels and user rights are shown below. Configuration, if the I.O. configuration cannot be met, after the wizard is completed, a warning will be displayed, go to I.O. configuration or I.O. status and go through digital output. Input and analog output, input, identify the I.O. with an exclamation mark. And reconfigure it. Setup overview. There are two ways in which the controller can be set up. Wizard, parameter list. Start screen upon delivery. 1. Hold enter down for 2 seconds to come to password entry. 2. The default password upon delivery is 300. Use the arrow keys to set the password. End by pressing enter. 3. Select a setup method. End by pressing enter. 4. Select language. 5. Select real time clock. 6. Select display unit. Electrical data. Supply voltage depending on model. Supply voltage is 24 volt AC plus or minus 15% or 24 volt DC. 20 to 60 volt. Frequency is 50 or 60 Hz. Power consumption is 17 VA. Data communication. Modbus 4, Dan Fossack SM800 third party equipment like example PLC, can bus for communication between EK400 units and HMI. HMI, EKE400 is available both with and without HMI. The HMI contains a graphical display and a 6 push bottoms to operate and navigate through the menu system. A menu wizard will filter out irrelevant parameters and minimize time at commissioning the EKE 400. 
In remote HMI type MMI GRS2 is only for front assembly connection only via cable with plug. EEC 400 with HMI includes multi-language support, input and output navigation, from any status screen press enter for 2 seconds to access main menu, enter the correct password, move to I.O. configuration, in this image you can see how many outputs and inputs your settings have provided, analog output, AO1, AO2, 0 to 10 volt DC 10 mA maximum for each output, AO3, AO4, Opto insulated dial in 0 to 10 VDC 10 mA maximum for each output external power supply 24 volt AC or 24 volt DC. Analog inputs, pressure measuring, radiometric pressure transmitter 10 to 90% of supply and type is AKS 32R, 1 to 5 volt pressure transmitter type is AKS 32, 0 to 20 or 4 to 20. Milliamps pressure transmitter type is AKS 33, temperature measurement, PT 1000 ohm, AKS 11 or AKS 21, NTC 86 kilo ohm at 25 degrees Celsius, from digital scroll, digital outputs, normally open contact, 10 amps at 250 volt AC for resistive loads, 3.5 amps at 230 volt AC for inductive loads. Change over contact, 6 amps at 250 volt AC for resistive loads, 4 amps at 250 volt AC for inductive loads. Solid state relays, I maximum is 0.5 amps, I minimum is 50 milliamps, leakage is less than 1.5 milliamps, not short circuit protected. Digital inputs, the connection may be a shutdown or interruption function. Select what is to be activated during configuration, from contact function for example to, start and stop of regulation, monitoring of safety circuits, general alarm function. Cables for DI input, cables longer than 10 meters is not recommended, at cables longer than 10 meter, it is recommended to use auxiliary relays, placed within 10 meters cable distance, typical auxiliary relays then are placed in the same panel as EKE 400, environment's condition, during operations is minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius, during transport is minus 40 to 70 degrees Celsius, humidity is 20 to 80 percent RH, not condensed, no shock influence and vibrations, well I hope I covered all the topics in this device, thank you for watching our videos, have a great day.